on, Bill. Achoo! Woo! Achoo! Woo! Here's a way that you can turn a t-shirt into a comfy pillow. Stuff your shirt, take some of the polyester stuffing, and just push it through the hole for the head. Everyone knows what a dam is, right? We're going to build our dam somewhere along this river. This is it, the big rainstorm. Oh! It's working. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Bang! Hey, Francis! Come on, everybody! of a stove. 
Isabella S. of Chicago, Illinois, sent us the directions. I'm making peppermint tea. It's an herbal tea that doesn't have any caffeine in it, but you can use any kind of tea you want. All you do is fill a jar with water, add some tea bags. I'm going to use five tea bags, but you can experiment depending on how strong you want your iced tea to be. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to push the tea bags down so the tea bags can soak in the water more. Like that. Then you close the lid like that and put it in the sun for a few hours. Once it's strong enough, it'll look like this. Now, just open the lid, take out the tea bags, add a little sugar, pour some into a glass of ice, add a lemon, and enjoy. Mmm, this is really tasty, and it's really cold. It's good for a hot day. Hey, why did the basketball player go to the doctors? I don't know. Because he wanted to get more shots. <laughs> Everyone knows what a dam is, right? It's a structure that stops a river from flowing. Well, Tommy G from Sandwich, Massachusetts, challenged us to build a dam using popsicle sticks and rocks that will stop water from flowing. This is a great thing to do at the beach. But you can also do this in a container filled with sand like this one. Here's the river that we already dug into the sand. We're going to build our dam somewhere along this river. We'll test our dam by pouring water from this bucket through the river. Hopefully we'll be able to stop the water from flowing. First I think we should just try the rocks. Okay. And see what happens. It, it's probably going to just go through, but... Yeah, because there's so many spaces in between the rocks. Yeah. Where do you want to put it? Mm, the dam? Probably like around right here. Okay. We have a lot more in the bucket, too. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to pour water in here. Let it fill up and see what happens. Okay. Well, I wonder if it'll just, like, the water will, like, sink into the sand and then come out. Oh, look, it's right. Oh, yeah. Out. It's going right through the rocks. It needs to let a little water out. A real dam. They need to let a little, little water out. That way, like, say it's raining or there's a flood or something like that. It doesn't like fill up and then go over the dam. Right. It seems like it's sinking into the sand too. Yes. It's and probably then... going to come off here. Like it'll seep in and under the dam, mm -hmm. underneath it. So maybe we need to like go down under the sand to protect it from going through. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Do you want to do the same thing with popsicle sticks? Sure. Like just to make sure. It's okay. Popsicle sticks in. Okay. So I'll just should I put them back in here? Mm. There okay. we go. Oh, we're like laying in the river. Mm -hmm. What if we put like popsicle sticks on the side like that? And then and yeah. pack it in. So it's kind of like protected. Okay. And it'll, the water won't take away the sand. Okay. And then we'll put the popsicle sticks okay. right next to it. Sure. And we should, maybe we should push them down deeper so it protects the lower sand too. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Okay, do it on the other side. Okay. Here. Maybe we should do it in an arc. Yeah. Because it kind of like when the water presses this way, the popsicle sticks are pressing against the wall. So, so it if won't, we do it in the these arc, won't, the, the, the wall won't move and it'll still hold back the water. Okay. It'll be strong. Okay. Here. Can I put one? In? Sure. Oh, okay. Here. Okay. Rocks. Okay, those are all three. Yeah. So you just want to like pack them in? Yeah. Them. And then we'll do another arc. So we'll have a, a wall and then if there's a lot of space in between, we can just add more rocks. All right. You want to build a second wall now? Oh, yeah. Good. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I just want to pack it in nice and tight. It's starting to look like a real dam. I know. It's very sturdy. This is it, the big rainstorm. Oh. 
it's working. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, it's letting out a lot of water from the side still. Let's see what we can improve here. Well, the water keeps going out the sides. What if we stuck popsicle sticks through the side? Maybe we should make the dam go all the way across the container. Very cool. Okay, let's start over here. And put it like really, really thick in so you can't even see it. And then, yeah, and then we'll cover it back up. And then we'll cover it with... But you don't want to cover it right away because then we'll do this. <laughs> yeah. So you want to do two walls? Sure. Okay. So I just like go right behind it? Yeah, like a second wall, like like, like this one. Okay. Should I start covering mine up with a... Sure. Some Stand. Need some help. Come on. Should I cover up what you already made? Sure. I'll just take some of this soon. Now, you want to do the, the pebbles going Sure. Down. Okay, let me get some of these covers. Pebbles are pretty. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Right. Okay, so we have, have more room. We have protection going down this way and that way. We have rocks to distort the pressure of the water. We have our arch dam in the middle. Our rocks in the middle of that, and those obstacles. And these sides. You want to try it? Okay. Here you can do it. Okay, it's good because it fills up right here. I think it's working. Oh, just a little water's coming through, though. Not much. It seems to be working now, because it's letting out a little water, but still keeping this water. Oh, <laughs> it worked all right, because... Well, because we just poured out, like, a... Oh, a whole lot. Yeah. But right now, like, okay. there's a little water coming out, but at the same time, it's still holding back the water. Our goal was to build the dam so that only a little bit of water would come through, but not too much. We needed a little bit of water to come through so that the water wouldn't flow over the top of the dam. Here's how we finally got our dam to work. First, we took out the popsicle sticks along the sides because that just made a path for the water to go through. Then, we added more popsicle sticks to both of the arches. We kept testing out our dam to see where the water came through. Then, in those places, we added some more popsicle sticks. Let's test it out one more time to see what happens. All right. Is yeah. uh, any water yeah. coming through? Oh, yeah. Over here. It works. Perfectly. Yay! Now it's your turn to build a dam. But remember, the way we built ours is not the only way to build a dam. So, be sure to try out your own ideas. Hey! Why do the T-Rex go to the doctors? I don't know. <laughs> because he had a dino door. <laughs> that one put me in stitches. <laughs> Here's a letter with some riddles from Brita P. of Milford, Ohio. What ten letter words start with gas? Gasoline? No, no. G-A-S. What ten letter what? What ten letter word... What word? Ten, what ten letter word starts with gas? No, G-A-S. A? This one, maybe it's automobile. This, this is A U T. You got it. Automobile. Are you serious? Oh. Yeah. Well, because I'm thinking of car. Yeah. And then I Like it cars. starts with gas. It needs gas. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get it. I was like, yeah. Yeah. What bus crossed the ocean? A bus crossed. Is it something it, bus? Is it like a fish? Yeah. Is it like it's something bus? Is it like a fish that. A water bus? No. Like, it's a word that has bus in it. Like it has... Yeah, is it like a swimming bus? That, <laughs> do you give up? Yeah, yeah, I do. You do? Okay. Columbus. Like Columbus. Oh, oh Columbus. Columbus. <laughs> it's spelled C-O-L-U-M-B-U-S. Oh, I would have never guessed that. Yeah, I would have never guessed guys. that. Good job, you guys. It's awesome. Yeah. This is really okay. cool. Yeah. All right. Here's a letter with some tongue twisters. Dear Zoom. Hi. I'm Taylor W. I live in Redcliffe, Alberta, in Canada. I have some tongue twisters for you to say. 
four times fast. You have to say each one. Shoulders, soldiers is the first one. Is it shoulder? shoulder. Is it shoulders, soldiers? soldiers? Yep. Shoulders, soldiers, shoulders, soldiers. Four so times fast. Oh, jeez. Let me see. Hold on. Soldiers, shoulders, soldiers, so shoulders. Uh, that's so high. Soldiers, shoulders, soldiers, shoulders. Shoulders, shoulders. <laughs> shoulders. I was like, shoulders. <laughs> okay, let me see. Do okay, you have any nice. other ones? Really Here's nice. the next one. All right. Kick, six, sticks, quick. Kick, six, six sticks, six. quick. Okay, can I try? Kick, sure. Go ahead. Kick, six, sticks, quick. Kick, six, six, quick. Kick, six, six, quick. Kick, six, 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 six. You, you need I, I it. Zoom Here's a way that you can turn a t-shirt into a comfy pillow. The idea was sent in by Yolanda Kay of Riverside, California. T-shirt pillows are great for decorating your room or giving us gifts. To make one, you need a t-shirt with a design on it, or you can decorate one yourself with fabric paints. The only other materials that you'll need are polyester stuffing. You'll need a little under two 12-ounce bags to stuff an adult small t-shirt, and a needle and thread to sew up the holes. Here's what you do. First, you want to sew up the armholes and the bottom closed. To do this, you have to turn the t-shirt inside out. That way, when you turn it right side out so you can stuff it, you won't see the stitches. So, do this really quick. I'll leave this on. You need a pretty good sized needle, like this to sew up the hole so that you can have pretty big stitches. The stitch that we're going to use is called the whip stitch. If you don't know how to sew, you can ask an adult to help. I've made a knot in my string so that when I pull the needle and thread through the shirt, it'll stop it and it won't go straight through. Now, the whip stitch looks just like this. All you want to do is poke the needle through the shirt and then push it through until it sticks out the other side, like this. Then, you're going to pull the needle and thread through the shirt until your knot stops it. Now, you're going to poke the needle through the same side you started with and do the exact same thing. Poke it, push, and pull. There we go. Poke, push, and pull. There we go. When you're done sewing up all the holes, your shirt will look like this. Oops, let me get it. See? Here's the armholes. It's all sewed up. And the bottom. All right. When you're done with that, now it's time to stuff. So, you want to pull your shirt right side out again. There we go. There. To stuff your shirt, take some of the polyester stuffing and just push it through the hole for the head. Good. And you want to make sure you get into the sleeves, too. Boy, this hole is escaping from me. There we go. And there. Once you're done stuffing your shirt, then, sew up the hole for the head with the same stitch you used for the arms and the bottom, the whip stitch. And then, you have your very own t-shirt pillow. to become a member of the Zoom team. Tyler W. of Jamaica Plain, Massachusetts had a birthday party at a local roller rink. In his invitation to the party, he asked his friends not to bring gifts, but instead make a donation to Families First, an organization that helps to build stronger families.
Tyler and his friends donated over $300. Way to go, Tyler. There are lots of things you can do to become a member of the Zoom team. Hold a bake sale to raise money for charity, collect canned goods for a food bank, or volunteer your time to clean up a park in your neighborhood. Zoom into action. Zoom into action and join the Zoom team. Hey, why did the doctor lose his temper? I don't know. Because he didn't have any patience. <laughs> Remember when Kaylee and I showed you how to build a Delta Wing flyer? Clear for departure. Whoa! That's awesome! Well, Molly and Carl C. of Middlesex, New Jersey, challenged themselves to see which flies farther. A Delta Wing flyer covered with newspaper or one covered with tissue paper. Instead of paper clips, Molly and Carl used pennies to balance the weight. When they tested the two planes, they found that the plane covered in newspaper flew like a glider and went much farther than the tissue paper plane. The tissue paper glider just floated a little bit and then fell to the ground. They think that the tissue paper just made the glider too light to cut through the air. You can find the directions to make a Delta Wing flyer on the Zoom website. Try making one at home and see if you can use a different material that'll make it fly really far. Hi, Zoomers. Today on Zoom Playhouse, we bring you elevator music. Inspired by an idea sent to us by Jason H. of Cape May, New Jersey. the best things in life are free. Come to the website and see. Load up on cool Zoom freeloads at the Zoom website, pbskids.org, or America Online, keyword PBS Kids. become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. It's fun to say it's a
for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, a corporation for public broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston.